welcome. Everyone is going to die. Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to Free Me's Reads and today we are going to talk about Season 8, Episode 2 of Game of Thrones. Continuing our weekly tr tradition of going over everything that we just saw and preparing ourselves for next week. This is... The Dark Lord. Christian. I gotta come up with a new name. You do, it's getting overused. Yeah. It's typical. Next week will be different. Next week will be different. <laughs> Why will it be different, Christian? What's happening next week? So many people are going to die. Everyone is going to die. A lot of people are going to die. Welcome. That's happy. Alright, next week is the halfway point. We have four episodes left. Um, what do you want to say about this episode? Because you were telling me some really great things that I remember to tell you to save it so we could yeah. talk about it together. So, so my main thing about this episode is, it's not that not a lot happened, uh -huh. but this episode was really just kind of preparing us and giving a lot of characters their final kind of say, their final moments to kind of speak. Yes. And to kind of let us enjoy them as characters. Now that, now that we're finally getting to like this big battle scene, this was basically the last episode where we get to see our characters that we've come to love over all these seasons that have made it through all these seasons yeah. and made it to this point just existing because yeah. next week is going to start the beginning of the blood the bloodbath yeah and one thing that kind of just one other thing to kind of add about that that i just realized now um it it really was a little bit of fan service for yes. us because oh, yeah um, we had characters that have been oceans away from each mm -hmm. other that we've wanted to interact for so long and they finally did. Everyone that we've seen for eight seasons who are still alive got to finally sort of interact yes. with each other. And not in a way where like, oh, there's a dead guy right there and we now we have to go race off to the north, but really just being human. Yes, we definitely got to see the human relationships. There was a lot that happened this episode to show, speaking mm -hmm. of relationships. <laughs> I was trolling on Twitter after, after <laughs> God, as well. One does. Yeah. Um, after one watching, does. after watching Game of Thrones, <laughs> love how everyone's like, "Yay, Arya and Gendry!" But also, Arya, we've known you since you were eleven, and everyone's like, "How old is?" Arya Stark in yeah. Game of Thrones. Like, that's the top the Google, Google search. search spike right yeah. there. I'm really happy that they got together. I love how it was mm -hmm. done because it was very it was very Arya. And Maisie Williams did say that, um, and because I read an interview about what her opinion was and what she thought Arya mm -hmm. took away from that scene. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, but saying that, like, this was really, the whole series has been Arya's, like, her Arya's thing has been she has seen all the faces of death. Like, she's not seeing him today. Not today. Mm -hmm. And then she is like, this is the last night, and we both might die tomorrow. So she's, like, getting a very human relationship. She's getting very in touch with her emotions. Yeah. And that hasn't really been something that she's been able to do. Since season one. Uh, yeah, since... No, S since season one, yeah. she's been kind of in fight or flight mode. And right yes. now she's taking a moment to and be And it's yeah. been all about her revenge and her yeah. lists and fighting and just survival. And now we get to see her being a little bit more human in this episode. I'm really glad uh, the way that they're taking Arya and Gendry's um, relationship and I really just think it's funny that like Robert and uh, Ned kept talking in the beginning about combining their houses and then this <laughs> yeah. is the way that it's done. Yeah. Um, I really love that and I honestly I honestly do see Gendry kind of dying next week. I know you do and I see that too but we're not going to talk about that yet. We're okay. going to talk about all the happy stuff first. All right happiness. happiness. Um, um, some other great moments in this episode. Brienne is finally a knight. She was finally she got what she finally wanted. Oh like, yeah. E even though she said like oh I don't want it I know it's never going to happen. You know Jamie knighting mm -hmm. her is it's it's really poetic because it's like it was the only thing that Jamie could give her that was yeah. worth something in his eyes. Like I, this is the only thing I can give you worth. Mm -hmm. Everything you've given to me, mm -hmm. you know, a second chance essentially. Uh, and I'm going to let you, you know, live now as a knight and yeah. probably die as a knight. Yeah, and out of out of all the knights that we, most of the knights that we've seen, she has the most like honor and attitude of what the ideal knight would mm -hmm. be. That. To see her finally get knighted when she like upholds basically all of the values that you would like to see in a yeah. knight, that was just a really great moment for her. It yeah. was like the ultimate culmination of everything that she's kind of been working for and living for. When you think of knights in shining armor of King Arthur and his round table, Brienne of Tarth is really one of those knights. She's the one that exemplifies yeah. that kind of Definitely. knight. Hood. Let's talk about um, the scene that we left off on last week, which was Bran and oh, Jamie yeah, confronting right. everyone. That was like, so many things happened this episode that it's kind of hard to remember, yeah. like, oh, that actually happened too. Like, that yeah. was in the beginning. Because this was kind of supposed to be the trial of Jamie Lannister, and, and it kind of was, in a sense. Yes. 
it was in a sense, it was all the characters there like who haven't interacted with him, who only remember him from their first initial meetings yeah. and haven't seen his journey are all questioning like what his purpose there is. Like what is he yeah. going to do? Why is he there? Um, Even Brienne at some point, like she's, she calls much like, you haven't insulted me in this conversation. What's going on? Like she thinks he, he's using her for a purpose when really yeah. he just respects her now. Yeah. Um, And he always has respected her and he's finally learned how to show that. I was so happy that they did the things you do for love line. Oh yeah, I was, finally. I was I was so yeah. happy because Jamie's interactions with Bran were probably some of the highlights of this episode. There yeah. was so much closure there. Um, there was so much that Jamie like came forward and admitted, and he was so surprised by how Bran yeah. reacted to it. And Bran himself said, like, your journey began the minute that you did that to me. Yeah. You know? And Bran, like, Bran wouldn't be what he is now if Jamie hadn't done that to mm. him. I love this season of Bran because, yes, he's still, like, blank-faced and creepy, as we all addressed in the last yeah. season, but he has more personality, I feel like. I feel like he's really, like, they come into his character. Yeah, as the Three-Eyed Raven. As the Three-Eyed Raven. Because, he's, other, yeah, at, yeah. because he still has humor. Like, even oh, yeah, completely. He, he told Jamie, like, you're supposed to help us. You wouldn't be very much help if I let you mur if I let them murder you first. Yeah, that's Which true. is probably the greatest line. And so I really really glad that we saw that. I'm not, I really like how they resolved that issue right mm -hmm. away. Honestly, I would have been disappointed if they dragged the whole, should we trust Jamie, should yeah, we not? Same. Oh, they're coming. Really, somebody's got to help. Yeah, I'm really yeah. happy they didn't go that route. They first 10 minutes, they just dealt with Jamie because us as viewers, mm -hmm. we already know that Jamie's on this road to redemption. Yes. And essentially, I would consider him redeemed. Oh, yeah. He is a redeemed character. There was an interesting scene between Sansa and Danny, and I yeah. think Danny is trying. I think that was her attempt at, like, kind of extending an olive branch to Sansa. And Sansa, even though with all this happening, she's still playing the game. Yeah, she, she can't She can't let her guard down. And she, she has, has so much. Yeah, oh, yeah. She definitely has so much reasons to be suspicious of uh, Danny, who mm -hmm. has all this power and who I think Sansa just kind of sees as becoming a tyrant because she wants... Ev the whole kingdom, yeah. you know? Because uh, Danny went in there not as someone really extending an olive branch, mm -hmm. but rather a, a ruler to so yeah. do her subject in a very calm manner. Yeah. And again, Sansa, she's played the game for so long, she can cut through all that. Oh, mess. yeah, you saw, like, the different facades between, mm -hmm. like, when she was, like, she was giving Danny what she wanted and getting more information, and then the minute she had her in a conversation where she wanted to, it's like, what about the North? Yeah. We already said we weren't going to. And you see Danny kind of like hit that wall of she and isn't she isn't going with yeah. what's worth. And for that me. and that's gonna be a really interesting thing about this about after the Night mm -hmm. Kings are. One mm -hmm. thing that I don't think Daenerys really realized is what if they don't want me? Yeah, she hasn't accepted that. Yeah, because again, she's never really had people that she didn't have to save. Yes. Like, yeah, these people need help, but they don't need saving. There's a very big difference. Well, and she's, she's used to her subjects basically, like, admiring and loving Worship, her. She's used her to house. them worshipping the ground she lives on. Which, she because she on. has that, like, that savior complex. Mm -hmm. She's so. a conqueror, not a leader. Yes. And that that's what this show has portrayed her as. I, and I'm going to say, I feel like it's becoming a trend mm -hmm. that they're letting all the t everyone know about the Targaryen line mm -hmm. in the crypts. Because that's what happened last episode. Yeah. This is what happened this episode. So I wouldn't be surprised if next episode, like, everyone else is just in the crypts and that's where they also Hey, guess out. what, guys? I'm a Targaryen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Round three of ending the show in the crypts. Yeah. Um, but no, I think that that's going to um, lead her to becoming a little bit more like the mad king because she's never had to deal with she's always dealt with the fact that like i am the true heir of the throne mm -hmm. i am the true heir of the throne and, and i think daenerys was totally on board with marrying john oh, yeah. and saying hey this is my way to secure the north i'll marry you yeah. they'll follow in line but now with john telling her the truth she's now thinking i could test out to see if he's really targaryen yeah by burning him like right. she, she did it with her brother i mean granted it was gold but i think this is going to be different because her brother really no one cared about him no like one he was cared about no he was but... a, he was a terrible person mm -hmm. he got the ending that we all basically was ju justice for him yeah. but john is different because he basically already has his kingdom yeah. and everyone ha like wants him to be the person that takes over the north yeah but yeah i really i really did like this episode yeah. because it gave us the last like you said it gave us the last human look of how everyone would spend their last night if they had it like some people just reached out for companionship some people wanted to be alone and just drink um some people wanted to sulk by themselves drinking like the hound, <laughs> well, the the hound. <laughs> she's like i'm not spending my last two night with you miserable people <laughs> like that was my favorite um i love that they like yeah. aria and the hound have kind of just addressed their relationship yeah. and he's like i fought for you that was really great yeah. that was also a great scene there was so many great 
human emotional scenes. Mm -hmm. so, so for next episode, you wanted to see who we think is going to die. I want to come out and say I think Bran is going to die Bran, at yeah. the end of next episode. I could see it too, but mm -hmm. also he is a three-eyed raven. He doesn't really have a successor as a three-eyed raven, so yeah. I don't think he's going to die per se. I can see the final battle nearing because the Night King wants to go after Bran mm -hmm. because Bran holds, is a three-eyed raven. He holds the history of the world. Mm -hmm. So I can see that Bran dies. It would be because, it would be like in this climactic final battle between the Night King where he comes to get Bran who's in the Godwood and they both die at the same time. Like, yeah. like you know, like... Um, I can see Bran pulling onto him, warring into a dragon and the dragon breathing fire on both of them. That'd be really action and that's not really the, the theme of how Bran is at all. But I know, really but great I, I would love... <laughs> um, that would be a great pipe yeah. dream. Um, I'm sure someone will write a fan fiction like that for you. <laughs> but um, I think that it will be that, like the Night King will die, but he'll take Bran with him. Yeah. You know, and then... The or Bran, vice versa. Or vice versa, yeah. But I don't know, I just think that if the Night King dies, he's gonna take out Bran with him. If Bran dies, he's gonna take out the Night King and they're yeah. both gonna cancel each other out. I and it's gonna, that, yeah. like this whole, the whole ending is building towards a new age. Yeah. for the the kingdom, right? Yeah, for the entire and world. For the really. entire world. And so what how else would you start off a new age by killing the old like basically the Star Wars kill mm -hmm. your kill your past. Kill the kill the past. Like get, or let uh, the past die. Yeah, kill it if you have to. Yeah, yeah let the past die, kill I it if you have that. to. So um I could see Bran and the Night King both dying simultaneously. Um I could see Gendry dying, like you said, Gendry and Arya being pregnant with his child because that, yeah, of course they have that's that. what would happen. We were talking about that earlier, but yeah, I could definitely see that happening. The merging um, of the two houses, but yep. for our breath. Which is really sad because I could see Jane because as much as Gendry is a loved character, he was gone. He was out of the series for so long. So I wouldn't be surprised if they brought him back and everyone got so hopeful. Because we've had, we've had too many we've had too many moments of happiness on the show. There's been too many things where, that have been fulfilled yeah. that the fans have wanted, and so now we know something has to happen to take it away. So I wouldn't be surprised if Gendry dies. I, I also wouldn't be surprised if Bran dies because she, she got, got her moment. Yeah. She got what she was working for. Honestly, her that scene, her being knighted, was very much a send off. Oh yeah, it was yeah. basically the end of her character arc. Like she's kind of she's hit what she's wanted to. What better way to die than after achieving something that no the, other woman than has? Then as the greatest knight. Yeah, Torment who's just a treasure and just brought life to all the seeds. Mr. I was nursed by a giant for three oh months. Oh my god. Like, do you want to know why they call me Giant Spain? Not unless you want an HR complaint against <laughs> <I know>. you. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was my... I loved him so much. He was just so iconic this yeah. episode. He's... But I, he, get, he, I can see him dying, too. Here's, here's the, the thing. Brain. Everyone in front of that chimney, I can see dying. The reason why I also agree with you is because Tyrion basically foreshadowed it. Tyrion kind of just like, I think we'll all live. Tyrion, mm -hmm. the minute that you say that, we all know that at least half of you are probably going to die. Jumping off of that, um, Lyanna Mormont talking with Jorah Mormont. Oh, I know. By the way, love that. Finally, that was, love I that. love her. She's she's amazing. She's yeah. your favorite character. Isn't she, she is. The Mormonts have been my favorite characters yeah. for a while. But, um... Leanna Mormont saying that final line. I forgot what it. I forgot what it is, but it's like uh, I wish you good fortune. Um, her saying I wish you good fortune to Jorah. That pretty much confirms Jorah was gonna die. Yeah. Like at least protecting her because again she's the yeah. future of his house. Also, um, the way that he acknowledged that Tyrion was the right choice for the hand of the queen yeah. and giving Daniel that advice. Like I could see that also being like mm -hmm. this is his final yeah. goodbyes. Oh. You know. Oh, definitely. I'd this is our final look at his character. He's addressing all the loose ends. I, I definitely see it. So those are our thoughts and opinions on mm -hmm. this second episode of the Game of Thrones. We have four more to go. We're almost at the halfway point. Yeah. Um, we would love to know what you guys thought. If there's anything that we didn't talk about that you would notice in the episode. If there's any theories that you guys have for what's going to happen next week. Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see more of me, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and let's all just hope for not too much death next week, but yeah. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye. And stopping this. And we finally got Ghost. <laughs>